when you get when you jailbreak your phone. It's, it's everybody. Does some people hate it, and some people say it's not worth your phone freezing up and, and crashing sometimes. But I'll tell you, that's probably the first time that my phone's crashed. Probably in the past month. I really haven't had my phone crash a lot. And with my luck, it'll crash again in this video. But really, honestly, that's the first time it's crashed that I can remember about a month. Because I really don't seem to try to abuse my iPhone. But we'll go back into the packages. And, uh, go back to see if we can find that Firefox one again. Yeah, so we go to Firefox. Say I want to remove Firefox. I go to Firefox. I come right in here. I press modify. The modify will bring give you these three options at the bottom: reinstall, remove, or cancel. Um, you could choose to reinstall, which will it will uninstall and then reinstall if you have a problem, if you're having a problem with it or anything like that, or you can remove it, and this will completely remove it from your phone. Um, there's um, a whole array of different kinds types of ways to delete applications and stuff from your phone, but I, this seems to be the most simplest way to delete city applications. Um, just come right into city and remove it remove it from your phone and that's that. So we're going to go back and um, we're going to go into the sources section. And this is a very important section of Cydia because this is where you um, install all the sources from which you get your applications and everything else from Cydia. Um, if you're a new jailbreaker, what I would uh, honestly recommend doing is just downloading this top repository right here. And I'll put it in the video. Um, it's called Podulo. Podulo.com. Um, it's a great, 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 great repo. And not only that, but the creator of the repo does a very, very good job of um, if you if there's not an application or tweak or whatever in there that you want, all you got to do is follow him on Twitter and give him the suggestion, and the chances are that that app will be in there within the week. And it, it's worked for me before. I've gone and I've asked him if he can put something in, and he's done it. And um, along with um, he fixes applications if they don't work. Everything in that, everything that I've ever downloaded, <coughs> excuse me, from that repo has worked. And I can't say that for all the other repos that I have found that. So yeah, I would recommend just downloading the Podulo, or just um, installing the Podulo repo onto your Cydia. Um, it'll keep it fast, and it really has everything that you need. But um, yeah, so once you're in here, to add a source, what you're going to do is you're going to press Edit up here, and you're going to press Add. And then this box is going to come up, <coughs> and then you're just going to type in what you need to type. I have another video if you want um, with the four, the, uh, four or five of the best repos. If you guys want to watch that, I'll put an annotation in the video somewhere. So yeah, that's how you add a source. And it's also, obviously, how you remove a source. You would just, you know, come down here and press that and then press delete. I'm not going to do that, but uh, then you just press done. And also, if you want to, if you're looking for a specific application in a specific repo that you know of, you could come into here, come into Manage, come into Sources, and then just click on the repo. And all these repos down here were installed by package. All these ones down here come with Cydia. Some of them you can download yourself through Cydia. They don't come down pre-downloaded, but they all do come with Cydia. And all you have to do is look through the um, repos that come with Cydia to download them in the Cydia section over there. Yeah, that's the sources section. Uh, I'll show you if you, if you want to download something from Podio, you just click on Podio and it shows you all the different packages in alphabetical order that are in Podio that you can download. And obviously, to do that, you just click on it. And you press install. And then after that, this will come up. And then you would just press confirm. I'm not going to download that. I'm not going to show it. And every time, if, if you click something and you press install, for some reason, um, it automatically queues it. And then to clear the queuing, you have to reload your data, which is kind of a pain. But um, it won't, you know, take up any memory or any time. Sorry about that. From your uh, experience in this video. So let's wait for that to load up again. So we'll go back. Alright, and uh, the third one, third section here is storage. And we'll wait for this to load up so I can explain to you more once it's actually there. 
what this really is, is it just tells you what you have left, um, what space you have available. I believe that's what it is. It takes so long to load, and I really don't even ever bother with this section, to be honest with you. I don't really think you need it. I really don't even think you need to ever bother with this section. I would say stay away from it. I'm pretty sure all it does is tells you, um, Hmm. Alright, so we're back here. Um, what it is, it says right here, see how much room you have left for new packages. So that's exactly what I said. All it does is it tells you how much you, room you have left on your phone to download anything. So the last, last section in Cydia is right here, is search. And this is like any other search application. You just press on the bar right up here. I apologize about that. And you search. Say I wanted to find um, a theme. Say I wanted to find a theme that has a lot of red in it. Type in red. Oops, that's a T. Sorry guys, I'm from the side right now. So it's a little difficult. Oh, there it is again. R E D. And then all these and um, this little symbol right here, the blue little symbol, those are all themes. And uh, it, you know, it just comes up, all your red, anything red that you need. And you can go even farther and type in theme if you want. Or just type in TH. And look at that red theme, came right up. So yeah, that's the last section. And I mean, that's really all there is to Cydia, guys. There's, that's, it's not that hard. Um, it, it just seems a little foreign once you download it because it's not something that you're normally used to on your iPhone. But yeah, that's that. And um, I'm going to put up right now on the screen the repository that I really recommend that you guys download. It's um, toddylow.com. It's the best repo there is out there right now. And the guy does a great job of keeping it updated and keeping it going. Um, I'd really recommend having that be the only repo that you get, unless, you know, there's specific things that you can't get from that repo, which I highly doubt, but, um, you know, whatever you guys want to do. So yeah, that's my, that's my tutorial on how to use Cydia. Um, if you guys need any help on how to do anything or on a, how to find anything or if you want anything specific, um, just let me know. And, uh, yeah, that's that. Thanks for listening, guys. Make sure to rate and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.